Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mama 2 here on this YouTube channel. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and on Facebook Marketplace. I share a ton of thrift hauls and retail arbitrage hauls with you guys here on my YouTube channel, just showing you guys the type of items and brands that I pick up to sell in my online stores. But in today's video, I'm actually going to do a what sold video and just share with you guys some of the items that have been selling for me this past week. Because I don't want to make this video too long, I am just going to focus this what sold video on Poshmark sales. So this is going to be a Poshmark specific video. We will be going over my sales from today, which is Saturday, July 3rd, all the way back to last Saturday, which was Saturday, June 26th. And I'm just gonna share everything that sold with you guys. So the good sales, the bad sales, just everything that sold this past week. Again, just on Poshmark, keep in mind, I do sell on eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. So I did have other sales on those platforms, but I'm going to leave those out of this video in the future though if you guys want to see like a what sold mercari video a what sold facebook marketplace or what sold ebay video definitely let me know down in the comments below and i will try to do one of those for you guys as well okay so let's go ahead and get started of course i will pop like a little video or a picture up on the screen here so you guys can see the item and then i'll just let you know how much it sold for and just kind of share a little bit of information about that item whether i pick it up again if I thought it was a good sale or not. Okay, so the first item that sold was this pair of vents. These were called the Fossil Linen Blend Cargo Pants in like a really pretty blue color. I have had these forever. I was so excited that they finally sold. I have sent offers out on this pair of pants. I mean, the lowest offer with discounted shipping that I possibly could send out. I have sent out on this pair of pants and I just could not sell them. When I say I've had these forever, I mean since the very beginning of my reselling journey, I've probably had these for two, two, two to two and a half years is how long I've probably had these pants for. But they did finally sell. I sent out another round of offers for $28 with discounted shipping and somebody did accept. Vince is a brand that I used to get really excited about finding in the thrift stores. I used to pick it up all the time. And then I slowly started to realize that it just did not sell well for me. So 90% of the time now I leave this brand behind. It does have a really high retail value and a lot of their items are really nice quality basics but for some reason I just cannot sell them. So like I said, most of the time I leave this brand behind unless it is just an exceptional piece, like maybe a really nice coat or a cashmere sweater or something like that. But other than that, I will absolutely not be picking this brand up. Okay, next up on the list was a bundle sale. This was a three item bundle from a buyer who actually frequently shops from my Poshmark closet and I also think that she might watch my YouTube videos so if you are watching this thank you so much I really appreciate I really really appreciate all the purchases you've made from me and supporting my business so this was a three item bundle it was this Madewell Kent stripe cardigan sweater this was brand new with tag this was a Nordstrom rack pickup and it was a size small. The next item was a pair of bands. This was also a retail arbitrage pickup. They were the classic slip on checkerboard sneakers in black and navy blue. And then the third and final item in this bundle was those Zara jeans that I picked up and shared with you guys in my last haul video. They had that really cute like pearl cuffed hem. I just thought the style of these jeans was really cute. So she bundled these three items and I sent her a, I have an automatic 20% discount already applied to bundles in my closet, but because she frequently shops for me, I sent her an even better deal. Um, I sent her an offer for $110 with reduced shipping, which she did accept. Okay, next up, I sold this Vans by Harry Potter collaboration backpack. You guys know I love picking up collaboration pieces between Vans and you know whoever they're collaborating with. I sold a lot of the Harry Potter pieces from, um, from Vans. This was a Slytherin backpack from Harry Potter and I actually had I think five or six 
of this exact backpack. This was the last and final one I had and it sold for $40 on Poshmark. I was able to score those backpacks for an amazing deal um, back after quarantine. After the quarantine, when stores started to reopen, the Vans outlet store near me was having a crazy sale where they were doing buy one, get one free red ticket items just because they had a lot of back stock inventory. And these backpacks were priced at $4.99 a piece. And then it was buy one, get one free. So I paid like $2.50 a piece for these. Um, so just a really good deal and they've been really good sellers for me. I think the retail price on this backpack was like $65. So it did have a pretty high retail. Okay, next up on the list was a pair of Vans sneakers. These, this was the old school version. They were called the old school pro iridescent silver metallic sneakers. And I did have a full lineup of this shoe in women's sizes. I'm down to like my last couple of pairs. This pair sold for full asking price of $65 on Poshmark. My next sale was a pair of Converse. I actually shared this pair with you guys in my last thrift haul. So these sold really quick. These were the double layer high top sneakers with like a paint splatter look to them. Um, really cool. I sold these as a men's size 10, but like I mentioned, Converse can be unisex size and they actually sold for full asking price of $55. Okay, next up, I have another pair of Vans shoes. This is the similar version of the last shoe I just shared with you guys, but in the slip-on. So they're the Vans Slip-On Pro Iridescent Silver Sneakers. And I did have a full lineup, like I had probably 30 pairs of this exact shoe. I had so many, I had every size, like three pairs in almost every size. Um, and I'm down to like my last 10 pairs or so. I did receive an offer of $45 for this pair, which I did go ahead and accept. And next up was another pair of Vans. These were the Skate High Emboss True White Sneakers, another retail arbitrage pickup. I do thrift Vans quite a bit, but I also pick them up retail arbitrage quite a bit. This pair um, was a women's size nine and it did sell for full asking price on Poshmark, which was $75. My next sell was this new with tag Yeti Coolers trucker hat. This was new with tags, but I did pick this up from the thrift store. I think I paid about $3.50 for this, if I remember correctly, um, which I knew this wasn't going to sell for a ton because the retail price on this was only about $20 but I knew that Yeti was a really popular brand that typically sells really quickly. And because this item was new with tags, it required no photo prep or anything. I knew I could just take quick pictures of it, get it listed and just make a quick, you know, five to $10 profit on it. So it did end up selling. I accepted an offer of $14. That's a really good example of an item that I will pick up from the thrift store, even though I know it's not going to have a huge profit margin, but I know that it usually will sell pretty quickly and I'll be able to make you know a quick five to $10 profit. The photos require no prep, so I can quickly just bring it home, take the pictures, put it away in inventory so it takes very little time to get it listed. And I do pick up like bread and butter, bread and butter easy items like that um, occasionally from the thrift store if they're priced low enough. Okay, next up on my list is a pair of Sperry brown leather boat shoes. I've mentioned before that I do love picking up Sperry boat shoes. I pick them up all the time from the thrift store, only if they're priced, you know, five or six dollars or less. I won't spend too much on them because they don't sell for a ton. I would say I could get anywhere between $20 to $35 per pair, just depending on the style, the colorway, and the condition. This pair I did go ahead and sell for $20, which is a little bit on the lower end. I probably could have got a little bit more for them, but um, because I was still you know, more than doubling my money on them, I decided to go ahead and let them go. I've sold quite a few pairs of Sperry's on Poshmark, but they also sell well for me on eBay. Next up on my list is this pair of Vans Old School Velcro Butterfly Floral Sneakers. Really cute sneakers. These were actually, I had a full lineup of these as well. They were actually junior sizes, but I sold them as the women's equivalent size. And I did go ahead and send out offers on this pair for 
$44 with discounted shipping, which somebody did accept. Next on my list is another pair of those Vans Slip-On Pro iridescent sneakers. Like I said, I had probably 30 plus pairs of this exact shoe in all different sizes. And I'm finally down to like my last 10 pairs. I've sold like 20 plus pairs of this shoe. They are selling really well for me, which I'm really happy with. Um, this pair, I think I sent an offer out. Yeah, so I sent an offer out to the Likers, $52 with discounted shipping and somebody did accept that. Okay guys, next up on my list is definitely a Bolo brand that I don't think I've ever talked about on this channel before, um, but the brand is called Ufos, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's spelt O-O-F-O-S. And they're like a comfort shoe brand. They remind me a lot of Crocs. They kind of have that really lightweight foam type feel to them. I picked these up from the thrift store. They were like a slip on sneaker and I listed them at $45, which was probably a little bit on the low end compared to comps, but I kind of wanted to move them quickly. And within the first 24 hours, I received three different offers three offers from three different people, all for the same price. I received three offers for $30. So I countered back all of them and I ended up selling them for $38 to one of the buyers, um, which I was really happy with. So definitely keep an eye out for that brand when you're out thrifting. Um, I'll put up, up on the screen again the little logo, but definitely a brand that I hope to find more of in the future. They also sold very quickly. Like I said, I had listed them, received offers right away. So I would say they sold within the first 24 to 48 hours. Okay, next up was a bundle sale, and this was also a very quick sale. I didn't even get these in a haul video. I wanted to share these these um, tops with you guys in a haul, but they sold so quickly and I shipped them out right away. This was a bundle of two of the same item, but I listed them separately. These were long sleeve, like mesh tops, mesh crop tops by the brand Beyond Yoga. So the actual tag in the back of the shirt said Beyond Yoga, but they did have a cycle bar screen print on the front. So I think what cycle bar did is they took these Beyond Yoga tops, because I did find this exact top on Beyond Yoga's website without the screen print, and then they just put their own logo, you know, screen printed on the front. I found two of these at the thrift store, one black one with the red print and one white one with the red print, both in a women's size small. I listed them separately, but somebody must have noticed that I posted them around the same time, so they bundled them in my closet and I sold this bundle for $40, which I was really happy with. Next up on my list was another item from my recent thrift haul. This was that new Tag Victoria's Secrets uh, bra. It was like a lace bra, uh, pink and green. It was new tags and a really nice size. It was a size 38 double D. This is another good example of one of those items that I know won't sell for much, you know, maybe 15 to $25. Not gonna make a huge profit, but I knew that I could make, again, a quick five to $10 profit. It required no prep. It was new tags. I took quick photos, put it away. Um, so this is another good example of an item like that that I will pick up at the thrift store. I only paid $2 for this bra. I listed it at $25 and I received an offer for $18, which I did go ahead and accept. Okay, next up on the list is a pair of Skechers sneakers, which I actually have been loving picking up Skechers. They do sell really well for me. I am a little bit picky with style and condition. I will only get them if they're in really good condition and I like the style. These were the D lights, so D apostrophe lights. It actually says that right on the tongue. This is actually a really popular style by Skechers that I will always pick up if they're in good condition. Um, this pair was really cool because it was navy blue and it had this really pretty like floral fabric. They were a size eight and a half women's. They also have like a memory air cooled 
gel like insole which I think is another reason people really like this style and these sold for me for $35 on Poshmark which is typically about what I get for them anywhere between 30 and 40 the next sale was a pair of leggings. This was by the brand Onzi or Onzie, O-N-Z-I-E. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but these were like a black legging. They had some like gold and metallic accents on them. I did let these go for $17, which was a little bit lower than what I was wanting for them. But one thing I've noticed about this brand is that it does sell for me. It just does not sell fast. I typically sit on these leggings for a while. So when I received this offer um, and I knew I was more than doubling my money because I didn't pay very much for these, I just went ahead and accepted them. And the goal for me really is just to double my money plus. So as long as I'm doing that most of the time on these bread and butter type items, if I receive an offer like that, it is gone. I am happy to accept and ship the item out. This is another good example of an item like that. This was a dress by the brand Abel the Label. This was the first time I've ever picked up this brand. I really did like this dress though. It was maxi length, which I do like selling maxi dresses. It had like that boho, almost a little bit cottage core type vibe to it. It had this really pretty like mixed print, mixed pattern all over it. Really pretty, pretty dress, um, but it wasn't receiving very much attention in my closet. So I'm not sure if I will pick this brand up in the future. However, I did receive an offer for $18, which I did go ahead and accept. Okay, next up, we have a brand that I love selling. This was a retail arbitrage pickup from Nordstrom Rack. It was a Free People tropical print maxi dress. I absolutely love selling Free People maxi dresses. I just think they sell so well. This dress also sold very quickly for me. I didn't even get a chance to cross list it. I would say it sold within the first day or two, first couple of days after I listed it. And it sold for $42 on Poshmark, which I think was an offer the buyer made to me. Okay, this next sale was another pair of Vans. These were the old school leather leather pop black and white sneakers. This style of sneaker, I had quite a few men's sizes and I've sold through most of them. This, I think might've been my last pair or I might have one pair left. Men's, this one was a men's size eight and a half and they sold for $45, which was an offer made to me. Next up, we have another Nordstrom Rack retail arbitrage pickup. So I did pick up quite a few pairs of shoes from Nordstrom Rack when they were doing their additional like red tag clearance sale. It was an additional like 20 to 30%. I think it might've been 30%. I can't remember. It was 20 to 30% off the already reduced red clearance tag. Um, so I did go ahead and load up on a lot of shoes during that time. This pair was a pair by Sam Edelman. They're the Jocelyn black leather waterproof like Chelsea style boots. And I did sell these for $50 on Poshmark, which was an offer made to me that I did go ahead and accept. Okay, next up was a, another bread and butter sale. This was a pair of Urban Outfitters. BDG is the brand baggy denim like jogger style pants. I picked these up based off of style because they were like jeans but they had an elastic waistband and the elastic around the ankle cuffs so they kind of looked you know like jogger pants and I received a ton of likes and attention on this pair of jeans but just no offers for the longest time or just really low offers but I finally did receive an offer for $18 which I did go ahead and accept. I think I only had them listed at $25. Okay, the next sale you actually might remember from my past haul video, I shared these in that haul, but they actually sold right away. Um, so I think I even told you guys in that haul that they had already sold. This was a pair of Puma kids sneakers. So they were little kids, like a size, I think it was like, let's see, eight toddler. And they were the Cookie Monster collaboration. So like I said, I love picking up collaboration shoes. Um, I just think they do sell for a little bit more. And this pair, even though it was a toddler shoe that was used, it still sold for $27 on Poshmark. So like I said before, definitely don't skip the kids shoe section. Sometimes there are really good, really good things to be found in that section. Okay, next up was a pair of Adidas. These were called the Oswego, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. 
black iridescent casual sneakers. Really cool looking shoe. I did pick these up from the thrift store and I sold them for $43. Same week that I listed them. I can't remember if it was the same day, but I know I definitely sold them within that same week. And I want to say I listed them around $50 or $55. I received an offer of $43, which I did go ahead and accept. That is it, you guys. So that was my last sale from this week on Poshmark. So again, Saturday, June 26th to today, which is Saturday, July 3rd. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you do enjoy reseller-related content. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. Tomorrow's the 4th of July, so stay safe and have fun. Um, you guys may not see this video, though, till after, but I hope you guys all had a good holiday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.